When I switch to pro mileage, in my case, I got 46, 47 percent of savings oh, for that time. Yeah. Pro mileage was the only one that gave me five thousand extra value to cover. Yet still cheaper, a lot less. A lot Turn up. Yo guys! <laughs> Sorry, I have to speak softly and strongly because uh, it's, there's a lot of music here, a lot of people here, and then I'm behind two layers of mask. So, yes, guys, this is the XC40 Recharge. Right? It is a pure EV car. It's an, a very, very interesting color. It looks to you like a pastel, sort of green, grey kind of colour, right? Let me go near you, go near it, and you can see the flicks. It's actually metallic! Anyway, uh, we are not... It's not that we are unfamiliar with the XC40, right? It is a very, very popular, um, compact, premium SUV, right? And uh, we see a lot of people buying into the Volvo brand mainly because of how the XC40 looks, how it drives, how amazing is the interior and the build quality and it's just an overall uh, fantastic car. It is my favourite actually amongst the entry premium crossover segment. When you compare with the X1, when you compare it to the GLA, when you compare it to the Lexus UX, uh, it is the best, in my opinion, alright? Alongside the Countryman, probably. Now, as a full EV, look at that, it has a frunk. Yeah, we call it a frunk, a front trunk, right? So, uh, it has a frunk, and the good thing is that they clean up the entire uh, front engine compartment, you see the necessary wiper fluids and all that, they remain it there but other, otherwise they just cover everything and you get a nice hidden compartment, a frunk basically alright, so as you know when Volvo developed this platform this uh, CMA platform, it was designed with consideration of a full EV uh, powertrain to be, to be to be running off the assembly lines, all right? So the XC40 is uh, is one of those cars where it was developed to have ICE, to have plug-in, to have EV all being considered, all right? The great thing about this car is the size, all right? It's a compact size, but inside is spacious, all right? It is not as small as, you know, the previous GLA. I know the new GLA has grown a bit, but the new GLA looks like a, it looks like those MPVs from the mid 90s of uh, European MPVs, you know, stuff like the Golf Plus or the uh, 2 Series Active Tourer, that kind of car, you know. But this one looks like a proper SUV and it looks really good, all right. And um, let's go through the details. The differences with the, the combustion engine counterpart is, of course, that there's no need for. There's no need to for intakes anymore, so this was covered up to provide much better aerodynamic qualities. And you see the Volvo logo here it houses all the uh, radars, and then with the reverse, no, with the cameras over here. So this is a really nice color. The headlamps remain unchanged. That's how it looks. The clamshell bonnet, which looks really good. Let me cl shut it. All right. Yeah, I love the clamshell bonnet. It it cleans up all the lines. The whole bonnet is one piece. So unlike other cars where you see a cut line or another cut line, you know, Helen Mercedes and all that, this car is clean. There's no such lines. And I love how this line runs down here, curves up, and then goes to the back. I love these design details and these concave surfaces. Looks really, really good. All right, the lights are also top spec. Uh, adaptive LEDs, very nice. Pirelli wheels, um, 19 inches if I'm not wrong. Yes, they are 19 inches. And um, 
let's go inside and have a look the seats Volvo seats let me tell you they are the best I've had two Volvos myself and um, two XC90s I can tell you they they seat really really good all right great material quality this feels like Alcantara but I think it's new buck or something all right they put a lot of emphasis on seats what I like about Volvo is that even when you buy their entry-level car let's say the XC40 right they don't skimp on seats which is a very very important thing I don't like it when I see A4s or I see 318s with base spec seats those seats are crap you know those seats are uncomfortable they give you back ache you know they're just not good stuffs these are the actual stuffs that Volvo put into even their most expensive cars you know they have whiplash protection not just on the headrest the car when it is being rear-ended would actually release a buckle to let this backrest go back so that instead of all the force pushing you the seat back actually allows you to to have a soft landing you know and if the car runs off the road and the car is launched and land like that which will break a lot of people's lower spine it also has a mechanism here that allows the seat back or the whole seat to collapse that thing that thing will take the brunt of the impact instead of your back i can go all day when i talk about Volvo safety features right they do things that nobody else do because they care others don't really all right let's come inside here it's a bit dark but the quality materials are there still you know really like nice materials and you have to look at this this carpet over here when you go to a showroom touch it it is made from recycled ocean plastics yes Volvo use recycled ocean plastics to make this carpet and you talk about door pockets nobody beats Volvo's Volvo XC40's door pockets when it comes to design you can put your big bottle over here the whole thing is carpeted and this full length this clean area why you'll be able to put your laptop you put a lot of nice big things there and then this one you can put your phone you can put your wallet it's really well designed and it's soft touch all right the materials are really nice the dashboard you can see that it's soft touch i just love uh volvo interiors very very nice the inlay has a 3d effect harman kardon premium sound system you get the whole system is by google now so it's i demonstrated it in one of my videos which is you know it's nice oh a square one and then the materials feel good the buttons all feel good i love the materials of the steering wheel i love the seating position look at that proper footrest you know that it's just really nice and here I, we have a wireless charger two usb-c ports 12 volt socket and a large compartment when you're not charging and even this what is this you may ask what is this you can slot your phone here to view your stuff if you need to look at that they care about it all right and then here cup holders rubberized in there and then here you get a nice big uh arm armrest console this was designed just it was designed with consideration of the square tissue box you know we sometimes we have tissue boxes and we have nowhere to put them Volvo actually designed this to be able to fit a tissue box yes try it and then this one this is a dustbin right you get a dustbin you throw your rubbish and then you want to dump your dustbin right it's who else does this and then over here they have this glove box you know and then you have this little hook where you can turn out and then see that this is the glove box let me do it again that's the glove box and then you open it come out there's a little hook fold out come this you can hook your hand back all right and then up here proper stuff frameless yeah lovely let's go to the back seats it's, it feels like a rehash all right so i've Wait, let me adjust it to my seating position all right let me guess around right. yeah that's my seating position okay, okay see that very nice let's go to the back 
back seats. Yeah. You get a little pocket here to put your stuff for the kids at the back. Now, I always say this, the Volvo XC40 back seats are straighter than many of its rivals, all right? So, it's just as straight as a Macan, but the Macan doesn't provide that much leg room. The Macan doesn't provide that much leg room. When you sit in the tight car, let's assume, let's assume the backrest is over here, then you won't feel like the need to slouch. But when you have a lot of space in front of you, you will have the desire to, to slouch. That's when you felt the seat backs are straight, all right? But it's actually straight, just like the Macan does. Right, door pockets over here, nice material quality, aircon vents, nice quality again, quality plastic. Then down here, you get an armrest with two cup holders. That's the rear seats, all right? Let's go towards the boot. Okay, very large boot and uh, it's also one of the places that I like. Volvo's boot is phenomenal, right? You have your bag there, fold this up. See, this sits nicely over here, right? And it holds your stuff from moving around and then you get hooks. One, two, three to hang your stuff. And then inside here, you can put your charging cable, you can put your laptop bags, you can hide your stuff, all right? So that's fantastic. Here you can hang more stuffs, all right? This is very well built, unlike some premium cars, all right? So yeah, that's the XC40. Here you have the word recharge over here. All right, we can't wait for the pricing. The pricing will be announced on the 4th of April. Right, this is the XC40 recharge. Cheers.